Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Wisdom and Light here, and I am back with another Celebrity Psychic reading. We're going to be doing some love readings today. Disclaimer, um, we're going to be using astrology, tarot, divination. If you're not into all of that, just, just don't watch this, please, Lord, just don't watch it. But let's dive in. We're going to jump on, let's do Lori and um, Michael B. Jordan first. So what is the energy surrounding Michael B. Jordan and... Lori Harvey. Lori Harvey and her birthday was um Jay Other Day. So happy birthday to Lori Harvey, a fellow Capricorn. Ooh, I don't know why I'm not shuffling cards good today. Okay. Oh, hi. We have temperance for Lori Harvey and Michael B. Jordan. I'm just gonna pull out three cards. Okay. We have the seven of pentacles. We also have the magician. Okay, so this is Lori Harvey's point of view. Lori Harvey's point of view. And then we're going to pull three cards for Michael B. Jordan. So one, two, Michael B. Jordan's cards. Three. So those are the three cards for Michael B. Jordan. Leave me alone, everyone. Okay. So these cards are for Michael B. Jordan. We're going to focus on Lori at the moment. Okay. When it comes to Lori Harvey, I do love that the Temperance card shows up. This means that her year is going to be about honoring herself and doing what is best for herself. This year is going to also be about healing from things that didn't go as planned. I know that it seems that Lori Harvey is invincible, that she dates around, that she's that male player, she's got that energy, how can I be just like her? But guys, deep down, she is, she's a woman. She has emotions. She has feelings. And even though, yes, I do feel that she has mastered moving and dating like a man, she's still a woman at the core of her heart. So just because she's dated person to person, that doesn't mean that those relationships ending didn't hurt her or didn't affect her or didn't teach her about things. So I will say that for the past three years, she's been learning about herself and she's also been learning about just how men see her as this prize. So the temperance is here because it's time for her to actually bring balance for herself. It's actually time for her to do what is best for herself. And one thing I can say about Lori Harvey, she's always going to do what she feels is best for herself. It may come off as selfish to some people, but in her eyes, she has to look out for her because nobody's doing the same thing. She has to be like 10 steps ahead. She has to think. She has to really move fast because if she doesn't, she falls victim to a lot of stuff that's not really of her or deserving of her. Now, I know not everybody likes her vibes, but she's, she's, she's a, I get the vibe that she's really sweet and I get the vibe that she's really nice, but her dating life is quite interesting. But um, I feel that the temperance card is here because she's really going to be focusing on her happiness, her self-love. She's really going to be focusing on doing what's best for her. Now, because her energy is like this, Michael B. Jordan is not exempt from her walking away. Now, what I will say in all of her readings that I've ever done for her, it was Lori Harvey that walked away from each situation. Nobody played her. If anything, the men that she's dated, they feel like, she played them she's walked away from all of the situations the only connection that i feel that she was back and forth with was future i do feel that she was back and forth with future a little bit i do feel that they had a thing going on for a few years but on the low low but for the most part she's walked away from them because she knew that it wasn't good for her and we got to give her props to her mama her mama taught her listen if it's not about securing your bag and doing what's best for you you got to go you got to get out of there. And her mom moves the same way. So the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Both of them aspire to marry into luxury. Lori Harvey's mother did that. And Lori Harvey is going to follow her mom's footsteps and do the same. It is what it is. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. But that is just the energy that she exudes. Now, here's where the reading gets interesting. So Lori Harvey is definitely focused on her money. She's focused on how money is going to be coming in for her. And... Not to say that Michael B. Jordan is not making good money, but his money is stagnant or it's not on the up and up. It's not moving the way that it needs to. Michael B. Jordan does give me the vibe of I'm an actor. I love what I do. But Michael B. Jordan is not money hungry. He is about his work. He is about what he has to put on the table. 
but he's not trying to be a gazillionaire like a Diddy or um, men that want to have more, 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 more. Michael B. Jordan is completely content and comfortable with the success that he has. The problem that could happen between these two is that Lori's going to want Michael B. Jordan to shoot higher, to strive for more. Don't you want an Oscar? Don't you want this or that? And it's not that Michael B. Jordan is not going to be able to get those things. It's just his vibe is I'm going to get it when I get it. I've been living my life this way and I'm happy about how I'm living my life. Michael B. Jordan also gives me big geeky vibes. I know that a lot of you girls really like love him. A lot of women love him. He's so fine. He's so this. But if you guys were to meet him, he's like a super nerd. Like he has this energy where... He is, it's like he's not like a future where he has all this charisma. His looks gets him through the door. But conversation wise, he's deep. He's very different. He's very esoteric, actually. He's actually very spiritual. So people don't expect that from him. And people actually do tend to judge him before they know him. He's very woke, or he's about to be very woke. He's very intelligent. So I'm, I was actually really shocked that Lori Harvey bagged him. But then again, I'm not shocked because. Michael B. Jordan's energy is, oh my God, Lori Harvey wants to be with me. Oh my God, the hottest girl in the industry. Oh my God. Because Michael B. Jordan, he's not used to getting that type of play or action from somebody who's hot like that. Because he's dated and he's kept them quiet, but it's never been a Lori Harvey. It's never been a girl who has all of this hype around her name. So I will say that Michael B. Jordan is shocked, but he's just not that guy that Lori would go for in the looks department, yes, but in regards to intellect, they may have their differences. I actually feel that Michael B. Jordan is very deep. And I don't know if Lori has ever had a relationship with a man who is very deep, who is very esoterical, who is very spiritual. Michael B. Jordan is spiritual, but I don't feel that He's tapped into it just yet, but the older he gets, the more he's going to be about higher learning and higher knowledge. I do feel that Lori Harvey's parents like him because he's he's a good guy. I, I do feel that Michael B. Jordan is a good guy. My thing is, will Lori Harvey be bored with him down the line or will they grow together and learn from each other's differences? And only Lori Harvey can navigate this because Michael B. Jordan he feels like he's all in it, it really does feel like a Sierra Russell situation and this can only fall apart if Lori Harvey keeps the same mindset and Michael B. Jordan is not willing to see things from where she's coming from so it's going to take a lot of communication and understanding where everyone stands for this to move forward but they have a lot to learn and I do feel that Michael B. Jordan is going to open her eyes to a lot of things that she didn't even know. Now, what I will say about Lori Harvey is that she feels safe with Michael B. Jordan. She feels comfortable with him. She doesn't feel like he's going to just outright leave her and outright do something foul. And I will say when Lori Harvey was dating Future, she had that in the back of her mind and she knew that it was temporary and she had to accept him and his shortcomings for what it was, okay? And I will say that the problem that Lori tends to face is the fact that men do see her as a trophy. Men want to be with her because it's like, I had Lori, I had Lori, I had Lori. It's like bragging rights. But when it comes to Michael, even though I do feel that energy with him as well, because I mean, he's just proud to be by a woman like that. You know, it, it's, it's just... What I want for Lori is for a man to love her for her and not for who she is, okay? And I do feel like Michael B. Jordan is capable of that. But Lori has to be mature enough to match his energy. And I do feel like she is, but she has to release the idea of you need to be on the up and up. You need to be making this. You need to be making that. Because here's the thing about Michael B. Jordan. I do love his work. I do love him as an actor. But he even feels that he's not where he wants to be acting-wise. He wants to actually do more serious movies where it's more Oscar buzz. He wants that energy for himself. He's always been the eye candy in movies, but he really wants to take on roles where people are going to see him in a different light. 
and I do feel that he has but he he really wants that breakthrough movie he wants to be respected for his work he's just not going to be the guy to own a lot of businesses I mean not to say that he won't own a business or two but he's just not money hungry he truly loves what he does and he attracts what is meant for him so if he's going to get 20 million dollars because he did this deal he's more so like great thanks he's not going to be like how do I get more how do I get 40 he's going to be like great and that might not mesh well with Lori because Lori's like don't you want more for yourself because you know Lori's a Capricorn and there's two different types of Capricorns there's Capricorn women where they like to work and they are very independent and then there's the Capricorn women where they're independent as well but they want to be with a man who has prestige and power and money some Capricorn women even fall into gold digger territory some some and a couple other signs as well but that's a different video for another time but I will say that Lori Harvey did manifest him. I will say that Lori Harvey, it, and I keep seeing how it started, was Lori Harvey started liking pictures. Somebody was liking somebody's pictures, like photo bombing, like, 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 liking pictures back to back. And that's how it started. It did start off on Instagram and then it grew from there. And they have been quietly talking to each other for a couple months now. So they're just not going public. Lori Harvey is worried about her money and she is thinking about how she's going to be making more. And she wants to be with someone who is ambitious, who's a goal getter. But I feel that spirit doesn't want that for her because men like that, you can't really make a husband out of them. They will, they will feel entitled to the lifestyle that a lot of money brings them. And I, I'm not sure if Lori recognizes that in that aspect because she was taught it is what it is as long as you're in luxury as long as you're getting taken care of because all men cheat it's like that's what she was taught it's like she was taught to expect the worst from men she was taught that but what spirit is saying that it, it, it's not like that all the time you could actually be with someone who loves you for you and maybe being with someone like a michael b jordan who doesn't give a fuck about those things it could help enlighten her, but that's her choice if she wants to be enlightened in that aspect. If she really wants to be with someone who is all about their money and they're all about status and they're all about what I got and everything, Michael B. Jordan's not for her. And I will say that it will fall apart for those reasons because they just see things differently. And y'all gotta remember, Michael B. Jordan is an Aquarius. What do we know about, Aqu what, what, what do we know about Aquarius people? They're gonna do what they want, when they want, how they want, and they don't care okay whereas capricorns they strive for the best and they want success because they do care about what people say they act like they don't care but they do care so how does that work and only they can figure that out on how that's going to mesh out so how does michael b jordan see um oh my god he nine of pentacles he feels like he hit the jackpot he feels like this is the best that he could have done for himself. He is head over heels. Nine of Pentacles, he sees her as the gift that keeps on giving. He loves that she's funny. He loves that she, he loves her smile. That's one thing I will say. He loves her smile. He loves how she laughs. And Lori Harvey actually has a funny laugh. Um, and I do feel that there's something about Lori Harvey where she's embarrassed about her laugh. She doesn't talk because I don't feel like she likes her talking voice too much. She doesn't talk because it's like, what do people judge how I sound? It's either she stutters or she just does not like how she sounds sometimes. This is why she avoids interviews. And she's also guided to avoid interviews because if she stays quiet, she remains a mystery. And I do feel that her brand is about creating that air of mystery. And how does she do this? How does she do that? But deep down, there is something about her that doesn't like her speaking voice or her laugh. But I feel that Michael B. Jordan loves her speaking voice. Michael B. Jordan loves her laugh. And she has talk, but she doesn't talk all the time. Michael B. Jordan loves how she laughs. Um, we have the Son of Cups, and we also have the Star. So he feels really good about this. He feels I can see myself with her. He feels this could really go the long mile. He feels that he can blend in with the Harvey family very well. So this, this feels like a good match. Now, in the past, I've always done readings for Lori where I said she's meant to marry into money or marry into royalty. Technically, Michael B. Jordan is Hollywood royalty at the moment, but is he where he needs to be, where he can get an Oscar and really start making money? No. And I do feel that maybe Lori B. Harvey can, um, I said Lori B. Harvey, Lord Jesus, I said Lori B. Harvey, <laughs> but hey, they could end up together. They can, but 
her passion for climbing up that ladder can rub off on him. And him telling her stop caring so much can rub off on her. They could actually really work out if they can learn about their differences and try to get benefits from it rather than seeing their differences as a crutch or a problem or a flaw. Because I will feel that um, Michael B. Jordan is going to see Lori B.'s Harvey needs for material things, for glam and all that bullshit. He's just going to be like, you don't need all of that. Whereas Lori Harvey's going to be like, you need that watch. You need that Rolex. You need to have this. They actually can balance each other out if they're willing to see it that way. So, um, will they last? Let's see. Only time will tell. People have the right to change their mind. I always say this about readings. People change their minds. And remember, it's just a reading. Just saying. So, will they last? Will they last? We have judgment, we have the seven of swords, and we have the two of pentacles. So here's my thing. Um, spirit is saying maybe. I didn't get a definite yes or no. I got a huge maybe. I got a maybe because like I said, how they view things and their differences could be the reason why things kind of drift away. Now here's another thing that's coming through with Lori. Lori doesn't cut off all of her dudes because she's dating someone i'm gonna make that clear i do feel that she keeps she keeps options in the background because again she was taught that men change their mind so when you feel like they're trying to jump ship and they start treating you differently you start acting accordingly she doesn't play that she doesn't cut off all her options put all her eggs in one basket and then the man just starts doing her wrong and now she's susceptible to the bullshit the moment she starts seeing that he wants to act different and he wants to act away because he has her he wants to start cheating and doing stuff she's gonna start doing the same thing and she's planning her exit she's planning her exit so there is someone that's texting her texting her texting her texting her there is someone that is mad that they broke up there is someone that hasn't gotten over her there is someone that's saying are you really gonna do this right now you really think that you're funny you think this is cute like I, I keep seeing somebody's texting her and I do feel like Lori blocked the number but she unblocks it and then she gets all the messages and then she blocks it again so there's that sneaky behavior and Michael B Jordan is very intuitive so it's like listen um I get how she has to play the game because technically nobody's married. I get how she has to play the game because technically nobody is married and for all she knows he could have his options open because they've made it public but they're dating technically. When they start getting serious, because they will, she's going to have to cut them loose but she wasn't taught to do that. Until a ring is on her finger she can't make any promises she can't and that could be an issue in the near future but that won't be the reason why they fall apart because again they're both dating and she's not pressuring him on what you're doing so she doesn't want yeah i get where i'm going with this but there is this vibe here if they don't overcome their differences and see that their differences can actually help one another they can definitely break up so it's really up to them it's up to them if they want this to work they're two very different people he's very woke and evolved and she's very glamorous and luxurious and ambitious okay so that's what i'm seeing with Lori harvey and michael b jordan i hope it works out i hope they can learn from their differences rather than seeing it as a flaw that they can't benefit from all righty